beautiful day for golf. We're not good enough golfers. Where is the beverage car? I can't believe I paid money for this. And we're back with another episode of the Ridge Golf Podcast. Ooh. So, Brady, thanks for uh, sending over that Brooks Kepka New Year's Eve video. I did watch that in depth. <laughs> I reviewed it. I didn't even thoroughly. notice. This. I didn't even like. Right, I didn't even notice his hands right away. I thought those things were actually like attached to her nope, shirt. He's just, <laughs> just having a good time. <laughs> I would also like to say oh. uh, congratulations to oh. the oh. Washington Huskies on winning oh. the national championship, or also the Michigan Wolverines on winning the national. Okay. <laughs> just edit what, that man? out and pick the one that actually won. Oh, that make us look yet. good. We'll be genius. I thought. I thought you were like hedging towards the Huskies because you have a bet. Not yet, that, but probably. Anyway. <laughs> you're really quick when it goes through. I think um, I'm leaning Husky than under. We'll see we, what uh, Yeah. I have a question for you guys because I just saw this and I don't follow football. We'll get back to golf in a second. But what is what the Saints play at the end of the game? Um, so, like, traditionally, you don't mess with like the the kneel or whatever the victory formation like if you're in that formation you're kneeling it and saints could just take a knee kneel out the game clock and they were winning yeah they were already winning by so much okay and like you were were on like the one or two yard line and then instead of taking a knee i don't know exactly what happened i don't know if they almost dropped the ball or if they just wanted to give the guy the ball for some random reason but they just turned around handed it to a dude and then he ran in and scored a touchdown like, yeah, i think they wanted to get a guy a touchdown that was, maybe he had a contract incentive or something that like could have boosted him i don't know something like that but yeah the the uh, falcons head coach was not happy about it which i mean kind of a shitty situation like now nobody now you got to like there's going to be some defense when another team's in a victory formation and not know if they're gonna do pull something like that you know and just kind of like bogus to run up the score when you're already up by like 20 or 30 like they were already up a lot (laughs) right yeah that's that's very unsportsmanlike as people so that was just the thing it was just like not cool yeah not like a gentlemanly thing to do. Right, go for it. Just do it. Who cares? Well, yeah, I mean, you're there, there to win. Professional football yeah. league, like you're there to play. Like, yeah, but also, like that's the like, it's like the, an unwritten that's, rule. It's that's like the, the kneel down thing. Like, yeah, they're well, kneeling down. They're in that formation. That's what they're supposed to do. Like, if it, if they were just doing it, like running a play, play. Then, then run the play. <laughs> I, so what, I, what was the score? Like, oh, it was like 41 to 17 at that time, and then they scored oh, okay. a touchdown. It was 48 to 17. Yeah, it was wow. not close. The game was over. I <laughs> just watched the clip here. I'm kind of pissed off because I lost $10. Uh, I had a bet that the uh, Falcons would make it to the playoffs, and that really that really not ruined even. it there. <laughs> so I owe my coworker 10 bucks. Probably have to wipe my booty cheeks with it first before I give it to him. I ain't too happy about it. So. Make sure you haven't showered in a couple days, too. Oh, yeah. I have. Your $10 bill smells really weird. <laughs> it's also disintegrating. I well, don't know. I've never seen that before. The week before, I took the Falcons um, to beat the Bears, and that blew up in Hi. my face, too. Right, well, I don't I'm know. On on the Falcons. Falcons. Yeah. Because no one would take bets against the Bills, and that's my team, and no one wants to make bets against the Bills. So then when I was a kid, the one the team I liked before was the Falcons. So Why are you taking bets on football anyway? Don't you know. don't know anything about football. Why people say cucumber tastes better pickle? <laughs> well, I'm just saying you just want to make that. You just want some betting well. action. That's uh, you just want to make some. You know, you just want to do some betting. That's what it's coming down to. Yeah, it's more of a betting thing. It's not a football thing. It's uh, yeah. If you're if you're just giving away ten dollars, I'll take it next time. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not happy about it, but what do you do? I'll get it back. Pick the Falcons gonna, next week. <laughs> this is the last game, right? So yeah. Like a, <laughs> that was a joke. You're try, was well, you're trying to take advantage of my <laughs> lack of knowledge. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Nope. But now you get all this. Uh, if you're just doing these 10 bucks here and there, we should definitely start doing a buck a <laughs> hole this next summer when golf comes back around. Uh, you know, that could get pretty steep. Pretty oh, fast. Man. It's nine. Even if I lose eighteen holes to Blake, he still owes me two bucks. So 
That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I mean, true. then how often a week are you golfing? And a lot of it's a lot of accounting right there, you know. Bring your paper yeah, and pen. We, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I think one of those apps, I don't know if it's 18 birdies or one of the other scorekeeping ones. I think you can tell them that like you're playing certain types of games and it'll keep track of like the skins or um like a couple other things for you like match play so then at the end of it when the round's over it'll just be like so and so oh so and so x number of dollars automatically tallies it up for you yeah, yeah. i'm sure there's something as long as you put in an accurate score like that's what when we played uh jordan his brother and his father we played the par tabs we just each had like a stack of ones or whatever and then just kept them in the like a cup of the golf cart and like that was the pot and then we just kept like adding dollars to that and then yeah you know put a card but so then i, I had a nice stack of ones by the end of that i want <laughs> i want a lot so then i keep those in the glove compartment of my truck and that's my uh that's my gambling money oh where do you park yeah. your truck <laughs> <laughs> not your business <laughs> but right, i forget it's in there too you open it up and ones pop out and fly yeah, out there what? Like that, oh, uh, what's that movie like Liar Liar whatever where he opens the glove box and like a million parking tickets fall out and it's just <laughs> his glove box just with one dollar bills just <laughs> pours over the seat well he didn't win that much money that day let's just yeah. call it out right it's always next time. I think I won like well well let's see if it was there was four of us playing and then you know the max you can win is three bucks per hole and I won maybe four holes uh, maybe bucks. four yeah more than that maybe i don't know i can't remember it was a long time ago uh, those ones get thick you stack <laughs> them up together you know they do stack up quick i will say yeah so working in the <laughs> restaurant bit with the, the tips and everything all the time you'd be like oh man this wallet's getting thick and then you count it up and it's like it's like 40 bucks and you're like oh all right <laughs> <laughs> I don't, like mean, uh, <laughs> I don't mean to get us off course here, but I was I just thought of this and I kind of want to know everyone's story. What's the craziest thing you've seen on a golf course? Your war like any... thing. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> All right. Right. Forget God, I said lame. We don't You're need lame, stories. Dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need stories. I'm looking for something. Yeah, I'm trying to think if like, I saw anybody like get struck by lightning. Ray's like, oh, yeah, I had this striped pants. I think, do I think you'd remember if you saw someone get struck by lightning on the golf course? Like honestly, right. one of the craziest things I saw was you and Jordan hanging out the golf course that time you <laughs> popped the tire. Like, <laughs> I know I was so afraid of our perception. I'm like, we're just that idiot duo right now, just doing stupid stuff on a okay. golf cart. It's like. We have a legit reason to be doing what we're doing right now. Yeah, it was out of necessity to get up that hill. <laughs> yeah, right. it really Otherwise, was. It really anywhere. was. I, I, I was going to say, I think the craziest thing I saw was just my buddy's dad get hit by a golf ball. I think that was the wildest thing I've seen. Nothing spectacular. Let's say, like, either, like, yeah, I think I've, I don't know who it was, but the, somebody sent a ball, like, through somebody's cart. Like, there wasn't anybody in there. Yeah. But it was just a head. And the, it literally went right like through the back of it and out the front, like the windshield was down, but it went through yeah. there. And then other than like you breaking your club, just hearing that ting, 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 ting along yeah. the, the yeah. Wow. path. I didn't actually see it, but just hearing that's just a, kind of a weird situation. It seems like uh, weird things just follow legs, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. And that one time where your uh, buddy almost wrecked the golf cart or he did wreck oh it. yeah that was <laughs> that was a bad one weird like, things really do follow you <laughs> <laughs> that was probably like one of the more expensive yeah yeah i mean we never paid for it but uh <laughs> i'm sure we could have could sure. have been yeah yeah it could have been very expensive yeah i i still feel bad about that not enough to go back and like tell anybody press, about press it up, but, up to it yeah, yeah it's whatever yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've never seen anybody get hit by a ball or roll a cart or we don't uh, play in like, you know, or get in a fight. There's like gators on the court and like right. the course and like, you know, we don't really get too crazy animals around us. Like I saw a deer a couple times. Like is that kind of, it's not really crazy. I don't know. <laughs> you, you wild man, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, Stop it's a deer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, okay. I didn't know if there was anyone that just had some. Yeah, I just was thinking, I was like, gosh, there's, I'm sure there's, well, even if you go on YouTube, there's some pretty crazy stuff that people have seen or done. But 
Yeah, they have all the golf. I feel like golf course fights are becoming more and more popular. I feel yeah, like I've seen a lot of those popping up on uh, YouTube. I feel like yeah, like etiquette and everything like the etiquette is really starting to change. Remember that guy that was just like a couple months ago who like took his shirt off and he's like, "You want to see God or whatever he said." Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> that guy was ridiculous. You want to see what God made? I'm take you to heaven or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Jesus Christ. That guy was out. all like, over TikTok. Oh my god. But it was funny. Like if I was there in that cart, I would have been dying laughing the whole time he was doing. Imagine that. like that guy going to work like the next couple of days though. Like everyone's gonna be like, "Bruh, what the fuck were you doing?" Like, <laughs> or just like imitating him. Like you would get imitated I'd... all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would just be like so embarrassed. To, like if people like saw me do something like that, I'd be like, "Oh my god, I can't <laughs> ever go back to that place again." I'm I need actually... to go someplace where nobody recognizes me. Like. I kind of want to. I'm gonna Google quick while you guys are talking. What if anything happened to him? Because you know, like now, it, something like that, you get. I mean, I don't know if you get fired for that, but you gotta be really well, what you do online now. Yeah, Look at those two guys some... that got got caught putting weights and fish like last year. Remember that? Yeah. That, that or that walleye tournament or whatever it was, bass tournament. But yeah, they got dude that exploded. They got their boat taken away, and they got like. I mean. It, so they were doing stuff Ill- illegally, but just because of TikTok and social media, yeah, just within seconds, you're all over. Yeah. 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 There's some good golf ones out there, though, too. Not of, like, people, well, some of people cheating, but, yeah, golf carts getting rolled over or fights. Or, yeah, uh, and the fights, I feel like, have been really popping up. Like, I was like, I don't know, like, I mean, like, it's one, like, a person drives towards you, I, like, I guess that would kind of make you mad, but, like, to get to, like, freaking fists like they're doing it every time like just start keeping their balls they're gonna run out of balls sooner or later i don't know man <laughs> it yeah. seems like it's really like, so like i don't know what someone have to do to like make me want to like actually fight them on the golf course like well i think it's it was probably a combination of covid where you had people that golfed all the time and then you since you couldn't do anything with covid everybody wanted to get outdoors and do something so they took up golfing so then you have people that are new to it and then people that have been doing it for a long time and then don't know you know people that just are doing it don't know the rules and they clash and you yeah. know but enough to come to like fist blows to it man like i don't know yeah, yeah. and some people just suck too I, I'm on my, next time we go out on my research i couldn't find anything if anything happened to him but I did get this. A 20 year old TikTok. Very creator. extensive research if you're already done in 30 I, seconds. <laughs> two minutes it took to research that. I had to go through ads and all kinds of. I just didn't want to do it. A 20 year old TikTok creator was reportedly hit with a $285 fine after hitting a golf ball into the Grand Canyon. So there's a story. Not even that much. 285 <laughs> bucks. Yeah, yeah, like probably worth guy, it. Uh, it was, a, it was, was a like littering, probably. Yeah, I yeah, think it it's a littering a, charge. Yeah, littering and. Uh, <laughs> All right, so if I go to the Grand Canyon, bring a golf ball. <laughs> yeah, she and has six point five dollars. Six point yep. nine million TikTok followers. I'm pretty sure she paid for that. Pretty. Yeah, she probably made more than that on the video. I would imagine, or well, ad yeah. revenue, or whatever. Yep. Oh wait, was it a golf? Oh, she also threw the club, it looks like, maybe two as well. Oh, then you got to replace that. That's another 300 bucks. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, so it's both. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she still did all right. Yeah, I'm sure she still <laughs> yeah, she still made money on that deal. She knew what she was doing. You guys ever been to the Grand Canyon? No. Blew no. over it. I was there once. That's pretty cool. I totally uh, the ground. I did see it. Well, I assume I saw it because like we were flying over it or we going to LA and I was like, look at that. I'm like, that's the Grand Canyon. And my wife's like, how can you tell? I'm like, well, what else would that be for God's sake? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the fucking Rocky Mountains. Yeah, that I'm just like, it's hole. huge. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> this big ass crevasse that's just like, <laughs> with no end. I'm like, that's got to be the Grand Canyon. Heard it's pretty big. I don't know. I was yeah, telling Blake yeah. today I need to start traveling and. Yeah, I don't know where the first place is going to be. Maybe that'd be a good one to go, though, too. Maybe take a golf ball, golf club. Yeah, let's head it out you there, know. see what yeah. happens. You know. Maybe I gain some followers. It might work out. You never know. Well, that's the problem. We don't ever record stuff while we're golfing, either. I'm sure there's some funny stuff that we've done that we just haven't. I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, when we go golfing, and I'm like, hey, we should make some stuff for our social media. 
guys take videos. None of you guys are taking videos at all. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm there to focus on the game, pace of play. Yeah, buddy. that's <laughs> true. Blake has said that numerous times, and then like when he was recording, I just get into his shot, <laughs> so he can't record it. Yeah, but you got a GoPro, just strap it to your head or whatever, and play the whole round like that. Blake just needs to hire a videographer to follow us around. That's simple. I got someone lined up. Yeah, we got but... cash like that. Yeah, right, right. I could even pay this two hundred and eighty-five dollar fine if I went to the Grand Canyon. Again, for no video. All those new followers. Oh you man, know. you keep keep losing all that Falcon money, dude. Yeah, there. Yeah. Oh well, now I'll bet on the Super Bowl. I'll bet big on the Super Bowl. We'll figure it out. Bills all the way. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. So no, other than that, I. Oh, Jordan, how's your new club? Uh did all right. Well, one thing that uh, I didn't really pay attention to is when I bought it, I just got a regular shaft, and uh, I was talking to one of my buddies that knows more than that stuff about it with me or than me, and he said that I like with my swing speed, I should probably have a stiff shaft. <laughs> that was, I, I even paused uh, for it. Uh, yeah. I even paused for it because the immaturity <laughs> of Alex. <laughs> Wow. But I should have a like a stiffer shaft because the my swing speed is I have a more stiff shaft that, on so. mine. So I don't know. I may I do have a return there. It's like a thirty day return thing. So I might return it and get a different one with a with a stiff yeah. shaft. So so what is you the just like what? saying that? Don't you? <laughs> yeah, you giggle every time. So I'm well, it, doesn't doing it. Less, it doesn't get less funny every time you say it. <laughs> Stiff that's shaft. A, that's going to be the uh, name of the episode. Stiff shaft. Stiff shaft. Stiff shaft. <laughs> um. So what is the difference there? I guess because you don't get the. It's Wait, since I have. You, have... <laughs> you want more since flex or less flex? Less flex. Since I do have a, a faster swing speed, it really makes the sh- the shaft curve. There's a. It makes you a curve. Take and out, then, can and you then, please take out and, every golf reference when this is being <laughs> edited. Just take out the club and just let that run. And so it's not it's not staying straight when you're coming through, and it's you're more likely the to slice or hook. Oh right, make, right. making it worse where it's where it's flexing. Hmm. So I got to check. I don't even know what shaft I got. I got to check that out. I know I got a stiff one when I got a new driver last year. <laughs> Oh man, all these sexual uh, references. Wait a minute, Brady. You didn't get a new driver last year, did you? I think it was the start of last year. Maybe it was two years ago. I don't know. Whenever I bought it, it was a, stiff, a for sure. A stiff shaft ever since. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to pay attention to that too. I mean, I don't think my swing speed is as fast as yours, but were you prob- on this? You probably need you probably still need a stiff shaft. Right. For sure. No, nothing. Uh, all right. So what did uh oh you're on the <laughs> when you're on the sim does it tell you your swing speed too yep it tells you your swing oh, okay. speed uh rotation like your spins your ball rotation speed your carry and your total yardage and even like your uh i can't think what it's called um shit it's supposed to okay. be like the apex know. or anything like ball speed yeah or whatever, yeah it'll like... show you that yeah when we went to yeah. uh, Top Golf this summer, we had a, a swing speed challenge where we all just literally lined up and like you we got gave everybody three tries to see how fast you could just crank one out there. What is yours uh, measured at, Jordan? Uh, like the most, I think average roughly is like one ten is what mine was when I was swinging last night, one hundred ten mile an hour swing speed. Yeah, I think I was around like one fifteen average, but when we were trying to crank out the max, we were up around like the one thirties and one forties. Like yeah. the ball is just going nowhere where you want it to. <laughs> They're basically like tearing all your ab muscles up trying to get this thing around. But it was fun to just line up and just eat one. Like when I was, I was just kind of warming up. I didn't even have like my new driver out. I was just warming up with like my old driver and then like a couple irons and stuff. And I was just lightly swinging, not trying to kill it. And my buddy was like, "You got the simulator swing, where like I only, I was, I wasn't following through all the way. Like I was stopping my swing, mm. just because I don't, I don't know. He said that he apparently that's a thing that people will mm. kind of get into the habit of if they swing in sim- simulator a lot, a lot. they'll just kind of like 
stop their follow through and it kind of takes off some yardage because I was only when I was hitting my driver I was probably only hitting it about 240 250. That's it? Yeah, yeah. you're like 280. You think it's because it like makes a loud noise and it kind of stops you or like you just want to like see where I it goes know. like why do I, you why do you hold back? Like, I just I, I don't know I, I was kind of thinking about it like I think it's kind of like you're in a it's kind of enclosed like you've got curtains and up, up and everything and yeah. you're kind of surrounded there. You're just like, I what if it so. does then, hit something and come back at me? Like, yeah, like a couple, like one or two times, if you hit just the right spot, like if you hit it, get under it a little bit, it would hit the metal on like the screen that's holding the screen up and it'd kick it way like back at you or something. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. not very often, like it's probably a one in a 200 mm -hmm. chance of hitting it, but like it did it once the other night when we were doing it. Um, and then I don't know, I just like usually I'll take one warm up swing. But I don't take any warm up swings in the simulator, so I don't know if I'm just swinging easier or I don't know. But yeah, I was. I did notice once he said that. I did notice that I wasn't following through, like I wasn't going back quite as far, and I wasn't following through quite as much on my swings. Kind of just short arming it a little bit. Hmm, that's interesting. Because speaking of that, I got called up to be a sub for a indoor simulator league coming up. Ooh. Yep, I got I'm going to the show. We'll see how this... Actually, I think they want me for uh, just my high, my uh, high handicap. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that'll Where's be that the Oaks in Madison, which is a little pretty... bit of a drive. Uh, it's a little bit of a drive, but it's a pretty nice course. Um, it's a very well, nice I mean, course. But... It's an indoor simulator. You can't. I think that's where our play high school course. played well, their home matches. <laughs> It's yeah. a beautiful oh, it's simulator. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be <a> sweet. <laughs> That'd be sweet if they built their own course on the simulator. That would be kind of cool. Just, and just play, keep playing that, like as the indoor league. Really? That would be pretty sweet. Do you? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you remember this, Blake. When we used to go to our aunt's, who who lives in Dubuque, she took us one time. There was like this big indoor, like mini golf thing, and like it was shaped like a horseshoe. Like, like the mini golf, it was inside. It was pretty cool. Like it was just mini golf through like the outside or like the um it was against the wall on the inside around like a horseshoe and then the Madison? inside was, no it was in Dubuque and then the mm -hmm. center of that would have been a driving range and that was pretty cool and I think they got rid of that but that was like kind of neat like at least it's something to do golf related in you know like when it's winter well that was way before like top golf and stuff like that right too. but I mean yeah. that was cool I, th I wish it was something like that around too. I think for kids and stuff that'd be fun. Hey, well, I think there like a mini golf place in Madison. I think by Yeah, by has yeah. the two outdoors, then the one indoor one in in Madison. Yeah. But I think field trip. that uh, I think that too was like that was way before golf is what it, or like what it is now. You know, like now I'm just, it's I'm just popular. reminiscing, like just so reminiscing. popular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stories from the past. You know, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like now it's. Top golf and pin seekers, and it's golf is getting more mainstream. I don't know, mainstream, but just popular to do fist fights, all that good stuff. Uh, That's why I said it's probably why the etiquette's kind of decreasing, though, as well. Yeah, because now you're getting yeah, everybody the doing it. on the, the undesirables, as you will, <laughs> the troubled Yeet. youth, yeah, <laughs> the guys who yeah. trust like a lumberjack when they go out for some odd reason. Lumberjack is generous. <laughs> That's what I look like. <laughs> if you say so. Damn hobo. I, I had the buffalo plaid on and the Carhartt hat. I think I did a pretty good job. A hipster oh. hobo is what I would go for. Okay, I'll take it. We are going to have to make that video into a TikTok. I'll have to have everyone send that to you. Oh, I'll put that. Me up. missing? Yeah, I love that. Let's, let's get that. Nobody I'm, knows it's you. I'm also on board. Will, I'm we all know it's me. Now everyone knows who's listening to this. Like, oh. All 12 of them. Yeah, yeah exactly. All 12. Don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we appreciate all of you out there. <laughs> Jordan, I'll send you a link um, to drop that in the folder and I'll. Uh, Back to the back to Sounds the simulators. Good. If you guys like really had one in your house, how often do you think you'd use that thing? Like, every day, well, a lot for a week. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd probably do it every, probably every weekend. Like if I don't have anything going on, I would probably go out there maybe two, well, two three hours yeah. at night. And you like, gotta give the variable. So are you are you are you talking winter? Or are you talking summer? Because summer, I'm not gonna play it at all. I wouldn't hardly play it at all. Yeah, in summer. yeah. Right. Winter, I would do it a lot. I just feel like by the time I'd be able to use it most days, it's going to be like 
I don't know, after all the kids go to bed, so it's like 8, 30, 9 o'clock, and then it's like, I don't really feel like going out there. I just want to sit and do nothing now. Like, yeah. now that well, I don't have any more responsibilities, like... <laughs> also, if like, you put it in your garage, you're going to be able to hear that through the house. Like, crack. It's really out there. Probably, yeah. He's got you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's pretty loud, like, when you're in yeah, there. Yeah, it's loud. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll, I, what? I think it'd be fun for like the family, like you know Brady. He's got kids, uh, like for them to play like on a weeknight or something like that. If, especially if they're learning, I'm, I think you play it a lot. Yeah, I think that's something that like I would like. I don't. I think if I went out by myself, I would get bored very fast. Like I feel like that's a thing that like to me it's more social. Like I need to be doing it like with somebody. Like true. If I didn't have someone over, I probably wouldn't go out there, you know? Like, I probably wouldn't use it by myself. Like, Well, you got lots of friends, you know, invite yeah, us over, yeah. we'll do it, we'll play. So instead of uh, a simulator, I was thinking maybe, I was like literally debating this this week, I was like, maybe I should get one of those, uh, the Oculuses or whatever the VR things are. Because they got some pretty nice golf sims on those too. And then I could at least still be inside, it wouldn't be noisy, I don't have all that other junk to worry about, and then like... I don't know, maybe someone else like you guys could buy an Oculus and we could all just play around online. <laughs> I, uh, I've i tried those before, those Oculus or whatever. I don't know if that was the exact one, but like, and I, VR is one of those things where I'm like, okay, like these people that like see the YouTube videos of them, like, like, I don't know, there's ones where they're on skyscrapers and they're shaking and stuff. I'm like, come on, you know, it's a video game. But when I put it on, it was like, this is weird. Like your senses are completely changed. Like yeah, it really sucks you into it. It's like, very it's subversive. Kind of yeah. Say, my, yeah. My brother got, I think it was a hundred and fifty dollar like golf simulator thing for his. Just you just hook it up to your computer and you can you know put a projector. But yeah. It's just that you just just the wand. You just pretty much you don't get to choose your own clubs. And you don't actually hit a ball. I don't know how accurate it is, but. Oh. Like, it just it just looks just like a wand that you extend out and you swing that. Yeah, kind, that'd be entertaining. Kind of like, yeah, like it was yeah, only, right. I think he got it from either like Sam's Club or something for I think it was hundred fifty bucks. All I got to do is have a laptop and you could. Yeah, play I mean, I don't know how competitive the sim world is for golf. Like I, you know, like I, I'm just gonna play it to have fun, just like regular golf. So I mean, it it really wouldn't affect me much. I don't know, man. I I work with some guys that they build. They're into racing, and they build their own sim rigs. Yeah. I've seen other pretty neat racing sim rigs. Yeah, I got a yeah, coworker but... who loves his. Yeah, yeah. And they'll race for like four hours, five, six yeah. hours. It's like Just driving in a car. Like one race. Why would you wanna? Yeah. So I'm like, uh, that's. I mean, it's cool. It's got you got servos on your steering wheel to provide feedback and gas yeah. pedals to provide feedback and all that. But yeah, golf would be. I don't know. With an Oculus, it'd be hard to like drink. I don't know if Lisa picks up a beer. They can pick up my beer and like be like, oh, there's where it's at in my I think garage. The, yeah, yeah, I think the newer ones have like a little vision pass through where you can kind of see your surroundings a little better. Yeah. Um, something, but then also your head. Like, aren't you twisting your? You know, when you swing, you're kind of whipping your head. Right. A little bit, yeah. Well, yeah. Strap it on tight. Yeah. Get a nice strap on. Yeah, nice strap on to go with your stiff shaft. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you don't need the strap on. Yeah. Well, now we're no. talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, back to the, you said like one of the things you said for the simulator is like back to like Jordan, Bruce Kepka's video. I was saying, <laughs> like Jordan said, uh, um, like he noticed he was like only three quarter swinging or whatever, like. So, like, I feel like the, one of the main points of the simulator is to, like, you know, work on your game, improve your game. But if, like, it doesn't translate, like, I feel like the inside is so different than the outside. Like, yeah. even if, like, I, I work on the simulator all, like, you know, winter or whatever, then I go outside. It's like, oh, this is totally different. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, so, like, when I was doing, like, the warm-up stuff, I was doing the three-quarter. But I think by the end of it, like, the last couple times, because we just did, like, nine... Like we just did like nine holes and we were rotating shots. So it wasn't, I didn't get the tee off, like, and then hit my next shot or whatever. Yeah. So by the end like, of it, I think like my, like my last drive that I got to drive was around like 270. So I was yeah. getting used to it or at least not worrying about it as much by the end. So but then also with that, you know, every single shot is flat and on perfect grass. Like, right. 
it's only really helping to an extent. Like <laughs> uh, I've seen some Sims that where they've got like the floor like mold, yeah. molds. Obviously, here, like live, there are ones out there where the whole well, you ain't like, gonna have that in some in your buddy's house. <laughs> like <laughs> well, I don't know. talk them into it. Maybe maybe you'd get that hydraulic floor put in. The ones with like the rotating like you know play mats too, where it's like this side's sand and this is like rough and this is whatever yeah, deep, but like deep rough or yeah whatever anything like that yeah joe schmo in his garage is gonna have a fucking rig like that <laughs> no no they're not but be nice it's gonna be a piece of plywood with some astro turf stapled onto it <laughs> this podcast ever takes off that's what that's what blake's gonna do just build yeah, us a maybe. nice we'll see We'll uh, get cameras here, not, or like record. I don't know. Video, do video. Video, yeah, yeah that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, but, don't uh, make any promises. <laughs> <laughs> the only one holding us back here is Alex. Uh, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get that. <laughs> Alex still doesn't even have a camera. It's just yeah, a, like he's the only one holding us back from doing the videos. Like yeah, yeah damn it. Everybody what do they don't want to see. They don't want to see faces. Yeah. People want to make it worse if we have to look at ways. People yeah. want to put faces to names and voices. Yeah. Well, they'll I see have, that new, uh, uh, like, see that new to... TikTok that yeah. we're gonna make. So they'll, they'll know what Alex looks like. It's some homeless <laughs> guy. It is definitely kind of weird because like there's been podcasts where I've listened to for like freaking you know six months, whatever, and then I finally look up like a YouTube clip of them and I'm like, holy shit, that's what they fucking look like. Like I've been an entirely different person. In yeah, my mind I think like, everyone you, has like... those moments. Yeah, where like you vision what they look like and it's completely off. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, that's what we look like. Uh sorry. This is what yeah. I, look like. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm six four, chiseled. Uh, out of ice know, cream, I do, and I do a lot of competitions where I lift things. Uh, yeah, mm. so lifting I'm not gonna get a camera, I just described you myself perfectly. Do a lot of eating competitions, you a lot of eating, yeah, lifting heavy sandwiches to my mouth. Yes, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, all those yeah. Jimmy John, you know, loaves of bread that you're buying. Well, I haven't had Jimmy John's in a while. I had the I had the my, mayo was too hyped up. I, it was good, but I got sick of it really fast. You burnt out uh, too fast. Yep. <laughs> the better week. all that mayo. <laughs> you flew too fast, to the, too close to the sun. <laughs> That's all right. It'll keep. I don't think it does. <laughs> no, I don't think mayo keeps very well. <laughs> Those eggs don't don't last forever. Nope. Nope. No, Alex called me today. He's like, "How do I lose well, weight?" I'm like, well, you know what you're supposed to not eat, so just don't eat it. <laughs> he's like whatever you're doing now just don't do that do I'm the like, opposite All yeah. right. <laughs> i don't like this advice no, i want to hear i can eat whatever i want when i want and somehow do, that'll work do very minimal <laughs> effort and it damn just magically right. goes away damn right <laughs> just say like well you know i take like crack two eggs you're just like oh god that sounds like a lot of work yeah he did he listed <laughs> off two things to do and i'm like oh my gosh you have to cook your own breakfast. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I just can't go get an energy drink and a sandwich from Casey's or something. What the hell? Unbelievable. Use, well, the big thing is I, one thing I get made fun of all the time was I used a Brady witness when I used to go to KFC drive throughs and just order the gravy and drink that. Like it was water. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh <laughs> man. Jesus, dude. I, I tell you oh. what, if, if you're listening out there and you're close to a KFC, just try it. Don't knock it. Just try it. <laughs> So good. Just go and order the large gravy and just poke a straw right through the yeah. lid. And, and they don't even go. question it because people order gravy, obviously, for their chicken and stuff all the time. So, like, they'll give you a pint of gravy. So, you just we like, literally went there for like Christmas or Thanksgiving. That's we just go and buy gravy from them because it's pretty it's good. Good. It's yeah. A lot easier than making it. It's good so stuff. Just, you just get a hankering and you just start housing gravy. Yeah. Like, might yeah. slow down the old blood, but at least it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> At why least. isn't his heart beating? It's pumping yeah. eighty percent gravy. I was say, yeah, why is it mainly gravy in his system right now? <laughs> his blood is brown, <laughs> a nice tan color. Oh, it is good stuff though. But yeah, if you live close to a KFC, give it a shot. Yeah. So step one for your diet plan: just cut out the gravy, dude. <laughs> this... <laughs> I quit doing that years ago. <laughs> yeah. No more. No more gravy. Well, I don't live close to one, so he's an adult now. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to make his own gravy to chug. Yeah. Oh, well, I think with his food, that's always the indication of the end of the podcast. So I'm just picturing <laughs> legs now going to like Walmart and buying one of those 99 
sent like packets of gravy and he has like his little like stanley thermos in his front seat of his truck or whatever he just dumps it in and gives it a little shake and he's like all right here's my breakfast holding but, it with his hands like this yeah ah, right. just takes oh, what you got there some soup oh just gravy <laughs> some hot coffee nope nope just, yeah. just it's definitely gravy. it's definitely one of the fattest things i've done is drink gravy. <laughs> I don't know what else would compete with. I, I well, I went to Subway that one time and ordered every meat they had. It was like a forty-five dollar sub. I saw, I saw Rollin do that once too. I was impressed. Yeah. He actually ate the whole thing. I was, I was like, yeah. yeah the only thing I didn't get, I mean, well, technically, I don't, everyone calls it it's just fish, but I didn't get tuna. Obviously, gross. But no, yeah, that it was like one forty-five dollars. <laughs> that one time you did come to my house and you're like, God, don't you have anything to eat? Like. Like you have like any like frosting? I'm like frosting. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted something sweet. And then didn't you come down the middle of the night and I was just eating pork rinds out of your pantry? No, or something no, like I had to go pick up. I had to go pick up somebody from Madison. And I literally got two miles away from our house. And my wife called me. Goes, your brother's downstairs eating all your pork rinds. And then I call him, and he's like, "Hello." I'm like, "Quit eating my pork rinds." And she's like, how did you go? Know? Uh, I'm just always snacking. Even when I go up to mom and dad's, I'm always looking through their pantry. I know there's nothing in there, but always hopeful. You got any gravy? <laughs> you got any gravy? All right, we've officially gotten off golf. We got to end this one. All right. Well, thanks for showing up. Yeah, tune in next time. Yeah, we'll talk that. about gravy. Yep. yep. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Get out of here.